Hi everyone, welcome to another video of my channel Excel Highway. In this video, I want to help you give you a few pointers on how to manipulate data so that you can use uh, information you get from different reports. Basically go from a source date, which is not an Excel date, to an Excel date, which you can use for your pivot charts and for other, you know, um, analysis. Sometimes when you download reports from your BI system, your CRM, ERP, any other system that you can think of, sometimes the date appears as a text and is not really an Excel date. And when you want to get that into a pivot table or use it as a timeline or whatever, you just cannot do that. So I'm just going to show you some, you know, few few examples and some, you know, really quick and simple Excel formulas that can really help you manipulate the data and you know get the result. So let's take at this example like you have the name and then a year. So in this case what I did I just built a simple table here um, and I can show you how to build it from scratch. So I just write January and February and then if I select both and drag it will automatically populate and one and two and double click and you get 12. And so in this case is I just use day number one for month. I use a simple VLOOKUP and use left. So let's talk about left. Left is a very important function. Basically it gives you the number of characters you want from a certain um, text. If I just show you the left function so this will return Jan. When I look for Jan with VLOOKUP, I can find the number one. For the year, I'm going to use right, since the four digits on all the way to the right are the year. Um, so you see, again, right, similar to left, it's just going from the opposite direction. And I always multiply by one. I didn't do that, but I can do it. I always multiply by one so that I'm sure that I have a number. And then the formula, which is date, which is very uh, simple. To receive a date, you need to give three arguments, year, month, and day. And I have just I have it just set up this way. The next line, something a bit different. You may get a date in a format where the days are first or the months are first, and you work opposite. I've had both cases. So here I'm using left okay, to grab the two values. I'm using left and right as before. This time, you, and I'm using mid. Mid will, will basically return the number of characters, but not uh, starting from left to right, actually starting in the middle. And you need to, to let the Excel know where do you want to start. So here I'm looking for number four, which is one, two, three, this is be the first digit. And I also get a good date. And I put another two examples where actually sometimes if you're on the first day or sorry, where you're on a single digit day or a double digit day, you need a, let's say a little bit more sophisticated function. For this case, for example, you can use a function called length, len, sorry, len. This returns the number of characters in the in the uh, cell so you can see that this one has seven this one has eight and what i'm going to do i'm going to use that as a parameter so again left but this time it's b4 minus six because i want i want it to, to go for one or two digits okay so that's here's three here's 15 and i'm also using that this time minus four so either go to digit number three or digit number four okay and um, this would be the date so these are a few examples um, if you have other examples that you need assistance to manipulate the data uh, feel free to write a comment let me know and I'll try to assist if you like this video or the other videos on my channel please like subscribe uh, spread the world, the word as uh, 
My intention is to help you improve your Excel capabilities um, using this channel. So feel free to write a comment if you have any questions or comments or if you want me to send you uh, this sample file. Bye now.